Today, an 18-year-old arrested for bringing a loaded gun to school just days after multiple fights at that school was held without bond by a Prince George's County judge. Stephanie Ramirez was outside that courtroom, spoke with the state's attorney after this. Uh, Stephanie, what did you learn today? Sure, Sharin Kenneth. The court documents we got a hold of say this 18-year-old Charles H. Flowers, high school senior, was actually a person of interest in the fighting that happened at Flowers High School last Tuesday. Ten fights reported in just one school day, and this senior's arrest happening two days afterward. But I got to tell you guys, this high school senior was not the only county high school student arrested last week for bringing a loaded gun to campus. Those who have been arrested, um, at least the, the last two, um, it was the observation of them trying to enter through doors of, that did not have the detection, um, which really uh, caused the administrators to look at that individual as someone who's potentially trying to come into the school with something that was illegal. That's County State's Attorney Aisha Brave Boy speaking after court, supporting metal detectors and thanking school staff for being vigilant. You guys are likely looking at video posted to social media that we've mostly blurred, showing the chaos the day that fighting broke out at Flowers High School. That was last Tuesday, December 19th. Now, while in court today, we learned and also learned from documents that the 18-year-old arrested, Keyshawn Reeves, charged with bringing a loaded handgun to school. And while he was a person of interest in that fight, it doesn't say how he got a hold of a loaded handgun. Police said that gun had six bullets in the magazine, one in the chamber. Reeves' father told the judge today they do not have firearms at home, and it was also said that Reeves has no priors. Prince George's County Council Chair Jolene Ivey has Flowers High School in her district. She says she's been in contact with the superintendent and says Flowers is a great school, but the students have been through a lot this school year, and retaliation over the winter break is a major concern. The council chair saying parents need to talk talk with their children about appropriate behavior. I really want the students to uh, spend time home with their families and just celebrate the season and not fight, not think of ways to retaliate. And when they get back into school, I do hope that they're going to have a whole new way of looking at things and the ones who've been fighting that they know that that can't happen. We can't have that in our schools. And Ivy says it's her understanding the school is looking at restorative justice to address the fighting at Flowers. The Council Education Committee can always investigate further, guys. But I can tell you the firearms investigation being taken very seriously. The 18-year-old from Flowers, he was continued, held without bond until his next court appearance. He's due back in February. The other student we told you about earlier, this is a 17-year-old from Wise High School, also arrested for bringing a loaded firearm last week. We know he's being charged as an adult, but because he's 17 and there are strict juvenile privacy laws in the state of Maryland. The state's attorney cannot give us an update on his status. Guys. All right, Stephanie, thank you.